welcome all of you today we are going to discuss about the e coli infection in poultry the uh, the topic uh, that we are going to address today are as follows the cause of disease the transmission and the signs and symptom associated with the disease postmortem lesions associated with the disease and the management and treatment the cause of disease uh, is uh, basically the um, uh, e coli which is a um, bacteria and lives in digestive tract of the birds but uh, it is not always uh, pathogenic e coli cause uh, disease when there is serious management fault or or some underlying causes that is uh, the virus or mycoplasma is present mm, uh, to uh, proceed the susceptible age group uh, that e coli infect can be wide range the yolk sac infection can be uh, can be seen in the very young chicks from day 1 and the egg peritonitis can be seen in adult and postmortem postmortem changes can be uh, various and the particular there is the navel infection and then it is occur at day old day old chicks to six way six eggs of or, or then uh, it can vary to the 15 days of age and um, this is characterized by the reddening in tissue edema in the immelical region you can see the tissue tissue edema in here another is this uh, reddening and tissue tissue edema can be seen and same here also and uh, in some cases there is unabsorbed yolk can be found with the infections the putrefactive uh, in infection can be found uh, in the later later cases um, when there is a, there is consistent chronic infection the yolk content uh, is the cause of putrefied necrotic process in the peritoneal cavity and lesser lesion type lesions can be seen in the um, cheeks the abdomen is bloated and entire entire abdominal wall is affected another is uh, the four day old leg leg on cheek here this the yolk sac is distended quite distended hypermic and the blood vessel can be seen easily and filled with the abnormal brown watery content in the other uh, in this in this picture can you guess what is it yeah these are the the hypermic condition on palatis and yolk sac group of 3 day leg on cheeks you can see easily and another uh, another postmortem reason that is associated with the disease is inflammation of oviduct inflammation of oviduct is deformed uh, characterized by this reddening and deformed deformed x could be found another is in chronic cases there is laminar like pattern of cases ne necrosis could be found in the um, oviduct another is is a retain yolk in oviduct could be found another is inflammation of ovaries inflammation of ovary ovary is characterized by reddening and hyperemic condition that could be demonstrated easily and another is inflammation in subcutaneous tissue cellulitis and this is characterized by the red patches in the uh, thigh muscle and this muscle and when um, when this uh, when this uh, red patches are open the fibrinous deposition could be found another is systemic e coli infection and then this uh, this uh, postmortem change that we discussed earlier are the local local in infection and now we are going to discuss about systemic e coli infection the systemic e coli infection could be found from day old to um, adult chicks uh, adult chicks and chickens and the um, chickens in first 24 to 48 hour i vaccine can be affected with this and the uh, mortality rate can be 4 to 5 to 6% and the most important uh, postmortem changes that is associated with the disease is adult adult and this is cholecystisemia is 30 day old uh, boiler chicken this is a layer of white fibrin cover a hot and layer this this is hot and it is covered with the white fibrin 
is typical of E. coli infection. Another, this also in 30 day boiler chicken, it is not killer, however, we could say another as yes. infection and 34 hour boiler chicken. The fibrin, fibrin can be seen in the liver and the heart. In same year also, fibrin can be seen in the liver and this liver and heart. This is this is the most advanced cases case of this uh, infection. This is 35 day boiler chicken. Now not allo fibrin deposition is now so massive. Massive. This is fibrin deposition. Huge fibrin deposition. This is allo and cheesy appearance. 